like Club Shay Shay. Look at how you bring us on here. You might make us kings, Shannon. Damn it. But I guess people say I shouldn't give you guys a platform because I force you guys to air out. You know what's fucked up? Same, same with the, you know, the other TV that we, I used to be on. You know, the other yeah. TV. Yeah. But why, as soon as you got big, that's when all the bullshit started. You noticed that too, huh? Yeah. Because when they said, oh, I know think Shannon's gay. First of all, if someone says you're gay, that means you made it. You understand? I'm waiting for somebody to say I'm gay. They say, well, that's a moist booty ass motherfucker. Like, I made it. They say I was moist booty, brother. <laughs> I'm like, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and th that means you're doing well. And right. it's fucked up. Like, why? I don't understand why we get like when you get success, people are upset at you. But there's some people that get up, that get to a level and forget about everybody. Right. Like, I like you didn't get this on your own. Mm -hmm. Why would you like not? I mean, why wouldn't you turn your back? Why would you want to turn around? Once you establish yourself, bring the people in that you know will do well. Right. On their own. They don't, don't just bring people in. Some people bring you in, you can bring them in and it ain't shit. Right. They ain't doing anything. Right. You bring the people in that you go, oh yeah, that, cause that's what I would do. Right. If I ever got to a level, I'd be like, my, my man, Ruben Paul, who was a fantastic comedian. He opens up for George Lopez. He, Ruben Paul, Dante Nero. I have Marina Franklin, Yamanika Saunders. I'm letting you all know these names. I would bring the people that are around right. me that I go, they can do the job. They can do the job. That's what I would do. Mm -hmm. And 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 it's like in our mentality, maybe because we always like to trace it, maybe it's a slavery thing. Right. Because in the slave masters, remember, they divided us up mm -hmm. and they only gave the, the house slave some and the field slave was like, Lord, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Why did he get everything? Right? Right. But I'm that's bullshit. Right. No, it's not bullshit, but it is bullshit because you can stop that cycle. Correct. You know what I'm saying? If you chose to. Chose to, I go, I, I, maybe it's my parenting. I don't know. Uh, let me ask you this. Yes. Because people say, well, Shadow, you causing all this beef. Did you know that this community, this many comedians yes. didn't like each other? Listen, man, I, it's really sad to say this, but uh, our, our, our community, I hate saying community. Community sounds so poor. Are we talking about the black our community? Society. Are we talking about, com are we talking about black, comedic? Um, no, because the white dudes, I'm going to keep it 100, because I know a lot of white comics, and man... They, they ain't beefing like first, that. Hell no. And it, they, I'm not saying they, there's not guys that don't like each other, but these motherfuckers, they, they will hold that solidarity. That white male solidarity, white male solidarity, it will hold it, mm -hmm. because they all are on each other's podcasts. Rogan makes these motherfuckers kings. It's Rogan. And even though, shout out to Adam Carolla, because I do his, I'm a regular on his, mm -hmm. you know. And um they they share each other's shit. They get on each other's podcast. Right. They help each other all the time. Ah, I don't even want to say this shit, but if it causes controversy, I'm down with it. We ain't shit. <laughs> Real talk. We are fucking whack. Cause here's the problem. We always have air our grievances on public platforms. Okay. This motherfucker ain't that funny. That motherfucker. I'm like, why? I don't understand. What is this fucking addiction of calling each other out in public all the time on who's funny, who's why? I don't understand. We're the only ones that kind of do this shit. Okay. You know? And of course we watch cause controversy is always fun, but I don't know why we do that. We should be on each other's podcast. We should be like, you know, liking each other's shit, but we no. don't do that. I know some comic, and I I got comics that don't like me, and I'm not saying any name. Shit, how, how, shit. Even shit. I got comics that don't fuck with me. I got comics that have talked shit about me, but I never let them know. They've talked shit about me. I've had comics talk shit about me to people in the business, producers who have come up to me and said, "Hey, are you friends with this particular person?" I could say his name right fucking now. And they say, yeah, I know this guy. What's up? Well, he was saying some really disparaging things about you, but we didn't believe him. I think you should give him a call. And I call him. I say, why the fuck are you talking about me? And I've never done anything to you because I don't do anything. Any, you can tell anybody. I, I mind my business, Shannon. I stay in my lane. Right. All I do is like, let me be the best comedian I can be. I do. I don't stab people. I'm not into stabbing people in the back. I guess that means you're doing pretty shit. good because that's what I've been told. What? It comes along with the business. When it you're does, doing well, people take shots. They at you. take shots at me. I've, I've had women tell me shit. Here's the thing. When a dude is talking bad about another dude to a woman, that's bitch shit. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's bitch shit. Yes. I don't do that. I can have a beef with you, right? 
And if I see a girl that you know, I'm not going to say shit to her about you. That's right. cornball shit. Yeah, well, well, but okay. they do that to me. And I've been told by women. That's what's great is like my relationship with certain women be like, yo, I just want to let you know you thought that was your man. Blah, 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 blah. He, you know, so mm-hmm. and it's like. We are fucked up to each other. I'm not saying there are pockets of comics that do help each other. Black right. comics. Yeah. Let me not. Because yeah. then they'll be like, because, man, how are you going to say that about the old black? It's the truth. Yeah. We don't help each other. Even on even on social media, motherfuckers won't like your shit to help you. D.L. Hughley does that shit for me all the time. He always puts my videos up. If your videos are great, he'll put it on his platform. Mm-hmm. D.L. always looks out. He always looks out, man. Likes my shit. Michael Blackson will like my shit sometimes. Just, just a little, I, I little guess, things here and there. I guess he ain't put mine up because I'm Wendy Williams with a weight set, so he ain't put. You're up Wendy up. Williams with a weight set. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time you did send something to me when I imitated you. you say, yeah. man, I thought we was boys, man. Yeah, <laughs> I fucking don't do that shit, man. <laughs> and then that was it. I never heard nothing. Else. <laughs> no, but but I no, but listen, I, I we we're not we need. It, that's always been a problem with us in the first place, though. It is. It's our it unity. Has. Our it unity. Has. Our unity. Can I tell you a story? Sure. Yeah. I'd love to hear Okay, it. there was a guy I knew who was a big-time drug dealer pushing mad weight. He was one of the biggest in New York City. And, and he was telling us, me and my boy and shit, Artie Fuqua, he was telling us... Um, you know, I ain't, I ain't afraid of shit. I ain't afraid of nothing. He goes, but I went to China to do, make this deal with the, the, the mafia over mm-hmm. there, the triads and shit. Yeah. And he goes, I'm talking to these dudes. And he goes, I ain't never been afraid of shit. But when I got into their, to their like headquarters, there, yeah. they were so organized. It was scaring the shit out of me. They were so calm and so organized. They were sharp. And the guy, he's talking to the head dude and he goes, and they're just having a, like a small talk. He goes, you know, the one thing about black people, he says, you guys are, you're, you're the trendsetters. Everybody copy black people. You're so creative. Your music, your style, everybody like black people. We jealous of you. But the one thing you don't have is unity. Very easy to break you up. Wow. And this is in the drug game. He says, we don't even... Lado. He says, we can't even organize crime. <laughs> wow. We can't even organize crime. Everybody got uh, mafia, Italian, right? There's uh, supposed Russian. gay mafia, Russian mafia. We got Irish mafia. And black folks can't even organize crime. Shame. What we, it's, and it's the same with comics. I'm sorry. We do not help each other. And I know guys that talk shit about me. I know guys that shit on me all the time, but I keep it moving. I, and it's a shame because I'm not going around talking about shit and I like helping people. If I can help, I'm the first motherfucker to try and help. I do, but some cats will block you out. Don't want you to have shit. You know, there's some, there's some, there's other gatekeepers right. within the gatekeepers. Wow. Yeah. There's other gatekeepers. But they are gatekeepers. Yeah, because they can be like, well, what do you think about this guy? Oh, man. Nah, man. One guy told me and told some some executive that I'm a joke thief. And one thing I don't like is someone call me a joke thief because I'm original. And I said, and I said, don't you ever fucking call me a jokey because you're a joke thief. You're a fucking joke. Don't ever say, but you know, we'll say shit like that. Yeah. I'm calling it out. Hope this gets about 60 million. Cause I, <laughs> I think the thing with us, we yeah. like as long as we, if you're here, we're here. We cool. Yes. But don't get here. It, and you better not get here. Which is cause then, up. cause then I got to try to do something to whittle you down. So you come back to my level or I elevate to your. Oh, level. you get here and you pull the ladder up. Don't let anybody else climb. Yes. But my thing is I like when people like you see a guy like Kevin Hart who brings up his boys. They're all eating. Yeah. I love that yeah. shit. He goes, Oh no, you eat the plastic club. You, you the got plastic a million. Cup, yeah. You got a couple million. You got a nice car. That's the way you do the yes. shit. Yeah. He don't owe all of us anything. It's the people that are working with him. They're eating. You know who else is great? Nick Cannon. Shout out to Nick. I did three seasons of Wild and Out. Right. Reluctantly. I did it. Cause he was like, man, when are you going to do Wild and Out? I said, I don't feel like rapping fucking. ABCs and shit, and I'm not good at that shit. He's a no, but we're going to make it to where you can do your impersonation. Nick Cannon's another guy. No one's perfect, but Nick is hiring people, you know, from what I saw. Hiring people, likes to see you do well. Right. You know, stuff like that. We need that. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button, where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party, because you know we like to do something before two something.